Hey peeps, Pickles Xane here, and another video of Starman 3's The Commentator. But we're up to Starman 3's 5,000 subscribers adventure. This video was so inconsistent with most of the ideals each trying to explain in this video. So, yeah. It's another sub special, and it's another one where his fans just praise him. Actually, I think this is the start of those properly. Actually, properly that those start. Where his fans just have repeated script lines over and over so they can just fit as many people as they can into the one video whilst only giving them one line. Because that's characters. As if his characters weren't were any good in any previous videos. Let's see. August. Which is around summer. I don't know what. Oh yes, this is going to start happening more often where characters are going to start appearing on the screen. If Lily wasn't any indication, now you've got your chances. Pa Paracarry is going to be a thing, and sadly not in a good way. Some random person you're going to come up with on the spot. Guess what? Guess what? It's somehow from another dimension. Uh, I didn't take a proper look at the envelope. I'm such a good postman! I gotta read it, even though it could be dangerous. And he's literally just gonna go, boop, bye. So getting letters from other dimensions is totally normal in this universe entirely. It's probably his thank you letter from the fourth dimension. Actually, I think it is, because he goes to the fourth dimension in this video. <laughs> My thank you! G look at how beautifully this is written. Yes, we have access to the Star Road, but not your dimension for reasons we can't really explain right now. As if that wasn't enough. The other dimension thing wasn't enough. We have to taunt Mario Mario. We abducted him for the point of writing this in the letter. Yes, and he just has to emphasize that. The, he just has to emphasize that point. My my father's written one is waiting for nothing. <laughs> the Kangs of fourth dimensions. Also, if it wasn't obvious, Mario Mario hadn't released the texture pack or the textures he used for the fourth dimension yet, so that's why they see the Star Road. No, he doesn't go to the fourth dimension, he goes to the star road because the star road is literally just where the fourth dimension is, just retextured. Mario Mario kind of laid off on this for a bit for retexturing hacks, but then just kind of went out of hand and now most of his uh, videos don't take place in the current world he's established it in. Nah, he just texture hacks a new Super Mario 64 hack and then it's a new series. <laughs> I mean, the fourth dimension was kind of okay the first time around, but then he just went over- uh, he, he overdid it. And, mo and most of it was just fetch quests. In some way, shape, or form. So, yeah. Uh, but DVDs take you back a dimension, and that would lead you to the fourth dimension. Also, because the, the the texture pack was released in the same video where Mario Mario explains that the Star Road was also connected by the canon to the normal dimension, which was what was very clearly established, so yeah.
The first DVD would take you back to the fourth dimension, and then the second one would take you back to Star Road. No, I was wrong. We were gonna see her again, but only because this is a Mario Mario themed video. Even though it's Starman 3's. Okay, I guess I was wrong. We were gonna see her often, but I really did not remember doing her much in any of these videos. And I do remember her being corrupted from whatever the heck Mario Mario did with her. Yes, because she just somehow knows. Like every character. Oh yes, we needed a reaffirmation of Mario Mario's plot line things. Logics. Okay, then why did she need to be here? And why were you questioning it? Uh, no. He should try, not you, because you're just a picture on a screen. That was probably retaken like five times, because I know I had to retake a scene like that five times myself. Transcended hacks because that's kind of a thing. Also, this Star World trip, bes besides the fact that it leads to the Star Road, it, the thing that happens in it is entirely pointless. Also, yes, you got the wrong texture pack for it. Uh, yeah. Yes, apparently, but like, even though they were introduced in Into the Fourth Dimension as having, uh, you know, you know, actual counterparts, Sario still seems to have the most prominent role in this place. And even though he's supposed to be the counterpart of Mario, he acts nothing like Mario. Also, watch how rushed Mar Starman 3 was to not even give them the correct color code. It doesn't even look the way the Star World color code citizens are supposed to look. Wow, supposed friend of Mario Mario's, couldn't you have just asked him for the color code? Yeah, didn't- Yeah, if this is supposed to relate to Mario Mario's series, then how come he doesn't remember him from Into the Fourth Dimension? They literally went on an entire expositional point, in fact, even going as far to introduce the other counterparts, he should be aware of who Starman 3 is by now. Especially since he quote-unquote saved the Fourth Dimension, shouldn't that be news across all of the dimensions since they're all linked to each other? I mean, that's kind of the point, the counterparts are linked to each other by their minds because they're exactly the same person, so they should know everything the other person should know. Essentially, Stario should be aware of what Mario is aware of. So Mario is aware that Summon 3 helped save the world, so shouldn't Stario be aware too? But of course, we're talking Summon 3, so we can't even think of that stuff. Two sentences into that, I bet he would probably just, you know, wince and stop listening. Because, <laughs> like he'd do that in calls too! May already have heard, he should be aware by now. I mean, that's only the kind of thing where the dimensional hive mind thing kind of works, because... They're supposed to be the same person, therefore they're supposed to have the same knowledge in order to keep the balance in the cycle. But Starman 3 can't think of any of that. I felt the earthquake and I saw the explosion in the distance. Uh, it, that's, that's, that's great correlation to logic, buddy. Earthquake. But isn't it happening in another dimension? And as for explosion in the distance... How would you be able to see it in the sky? Because 
because again, they're completely different dimensions. We're just gonna sidestep the point that he wants to promote himself. I use the power sword to fight Dementio over uh, over Luigi Five for Three Two One's actual methods. Yeah, he did so much over everyone else in the entire video. So if you knew, then why did you sidestep the point literally two seconds ago? These characters. Seriously, just transport them to the Star Road already. The script inconsistency is going to break my mind. What the hell? I got this letter from the fourth dimension, but they discovered the way to go to the Star World. If they mean the Star World, then why aren't they here right now? Obviously a typo, because he means to say the Star Road. Also, aren't they supposed to be like dimensional geniuses, considering they locked their own dimension to everyone else before they started opening themselves up? And opening themselves, their actual selves, up to other to going to other dimensions? Except for some reason, they're not going to go to the, for the normal one, because why? I have no idea. And that's even in Mario Mario stories for a long time. Some mysterious voice told me about. It. I'm not gonna. Look, uh, yeah, some, it, I was told by the uh, the plot. It, the plot demands it basically. Oh yes, you got a letter from. Guess what? The plot demands it. The gods that be. That's kind of a reference to start to Mario Mario. Not Simon, please. <laughs> Why would he even make that? Mario Mario's video where he began to expo expositionize on the star on not the Star World. The fourth, the fourth dimension after it was done. Looking at this color code is so jarring. Look at this. It's not the same color code. It's way more shiny and way more abstract. This is literally just some soft colors combined with some maybe harder ones. He's literally just blue, he's literally just the blue Mario, not the blue shiny Mario. Compare with a screenshot of the actual color code that I've got. Notice the jarring differences? That's why it looks so weird, and especially considering he's been calling himself for the past like 10 videos his virtual brother of Mario Mario, it's not that hard to ask him oh, for the color code for a video which you maybe shouldn't have just rushed out. Yes, because the plot demands it that everyone should be there. I'm not gonna do it myself, I'm gonna get someone else to do it. I'm gonna get your actual counterpart. Actually, why couldn't he have come out instead? That would have probably made more sense. But no, Starry, oh, anytime you go to the star, to the star world, Starry was just there obligatorily. Yeah, apparently the portal to the Star Road is open the exact same way to the Star World. Great dimensional protection. Protecting, I'm sorry. Moon jumping! Also, isn't Starman 3 standing right here and Staria maybe just slightly in front of him? But no, lazy shots. I mean, maybe we could have cut out the talking, uh, especially since you can't make continuity, and maybe we could have just skipped to the scene. Uh, yeah, because you guys are supposed to be counterparts. Didn't you remember that he introduced himself to you when you were in Into the Fourth Dimension, which you like to link to so often? And you're going to do that for the next couple of videos? For that very reason. In fact, in two videos' time on my commentary list, he's, he, it's literally the fourth dimensional video that he likes to 
to do something that he practically wanted to do for the longest period of time. <laughs> wow. I'm not even going to check my own YouTube channel. I'm just going to wait till I go to them to see what's going on. My only theory in universe is that he probably thinks that, that some major discovery was made at the Star Road. Which is funny considering they explored its recolor in the in that so-called adventure. Also notice how he doesn't know how to texture hack, so that's why the M is there. To be fair, Star Road uh texture hacking was completely new at the time. Um, oh yeah, the, you see this, you I saw it here, um, uh, th that looked like a small wooden area. Yeah, that's flickering. I say in Mario Mario's videos a lot, uh, I said when he was using it, Star Road has some really bad issues if you just leave the default settings on in Project 64. In fact, if you just leave it completely default, it won't even run. The filter Starman 3 is using it clearly seems to show, but the flickering is actually pretty much less known, so I'm not going to criticize him for this because I didn't even know about it until maybe when I took a look in the settings. So, a lot of people don't know what it is. It's, um, uh, it, it's a little checkbox called Software Vertex Clipper, and it essentially ruins the flickering. I'm not sure exactly the cause behind it. It's probably something in Star Road itself that's doing it. That's that's not the same as Super Mario 64. Therefore, it's doing these weird flickering thingies. But as they run and as the camera moves quite fast, you're going to see the flickering a lot. I'm not going to criticize Starman 3 for this because the things I'm criticizing him about are things that are story related. Because... He he, he he he's trying to make it a story, but he can't do it properly. And that was pretty obvious. You could you could see that. Gameplay footage. It's pretty violent because it's practically, it's it, it's really hidden. Uh, no duh. Hasn't everything been reminding you of that lately? In fact, it was probably one of MM's okay ones before he started, you know, nose diving. Oh, are we just supposed to assume that that's happening? Because we can't hear anything, not even a soft sound effect. As if that hasn't been blatantly obvious for the last six minutes. Whoa, here are some people that I'm going to mask in for no reason. Wow, all is two people. Uh, dude, what happened to the color team masking of before? Couldn't you have masked like four people in this shot? Look at how blatantly stupid this is. You literally, you literally just had to change the camera angle once. For reasons simply because he couldn't mask more than two people at one time. Even though we've seen him clearly do it before, reference the color team. You can clearly see how rushed this was, right? Oh yeah. Notice the weird lighting on Mario Mario. You probably can't see it, but it looks like his face is darker in certain places. It probably shouldn't be. 
Yeah, he's probably turned a fail color code on, which means the lighting on the normal color codes then suddenly turns all weird and stupid. Because, like I said, when you overwrite different values, the other values don't get overwritten. So basically, if you're overwriting a, a, a face and a hair, but you're not overwriting anything else, what's currently there will already be there. So, let's black screen. In Super Mario 64 Star Road, some random as heck arbitrary color code limitation is there. Reasons I can't comprehend. But the game is coded in such a way that normal color codes won't create the same color code effect. They'll just create some weird... It'll look like Mario, but he's got some tint of another color, like, say, yellow or green or pink. If you use the minus 20 trick, which is just minus the numbers by 2 on the address. Essentially, you're writing the same values to a different address in the game. Because the addresses were probably moved when the game was being created. So, when you use a normal Super Mario 64 average, your average color code on Star Road, and then it creates the tint effect. And then, since you're overwriting to completely different values, the tint remains, but on the new color code. So, turn it on. As you can see with Mario Mario, y y you can kind of see that his face looks really awfully shaded because that tint is still there, and whatever the heck tint it was, it's still there and it still remains. I mean, you can still see the colors, but they look really off and just don't look right. Also, I think he's got wrong hair. I can't tell from here, but I'll correct myself in text later. It looks like he may have the right stuff, but I don't know. Especially considering the kinds of color codes he was meshing it with. They're here in this room. Uh, this room. Not this room that they're in right now, which is really bad writing. I'm just gonna assume you did that because that's just the only way you would have probably been able to get here. Nah, Mario Mario could just psychically see everything Simon 3 did. As can every character in this series. We're all here for obligatory reason. They're literally in a different location. That's all. Oh yes, they looked so interested before when they literally just jumped for a couple seconds and danced, maybe. Also, everyone that was dancing before just vanished. And Mario Mario did too. Gameplay footage. Didn't they say that in the letter? Watch how this continuity is broken. We meet again, even though, you know, uh, uh, I really shouldn't. <laughs> I... We meet again, even though we should, we're just taking up all the screen time. Why did they even need to go to the Star Road? In story. I know it's because he doesn't have the texture pack, but like, it's so arbitrary. We're gonna go to the Star Tower for some reason. Ooh, look who's beating you at the moment. Also, that number I don't think is gonna increase because everything in the fourth dimension is related to the number four. So, yeah, it would probably only change to become 40,000 at some point, because that would also relate to the number 4. Anything ending or relating to the number 4. Oh, we're we just going to have an enable-disable switch, even though, uh, for some reason, they, they- Seriously, they should just be able to come into the dimension. And if we're talking purely Super Mario 64 logic here, it's not that hard to do the reverse to the other color codes, you know, plus 20 them. 
been so long while I've been busy tiptoeing on my room and maybe saving the world. Yeah, I'll just flick a switch and that'll happen. Seriously, there's no point to this. They literally could just go to the dimension anyway and we wouldn't have to ha go through this crazy let's, let's change the inner settings of a dimension thing. Aren't there others supposedly in this room? I believe- The, the video's thumbnail depicts others in this room so shouldn't they, they be saying everyone here will be happy? We're here because we don't have an actual texture pack. <laughs> totally. Nah, you could have just used a DVD. Using a mysterious power that I'm not going to mention because the plot demands it. Uh, okay. If he literally said... Quarry on for EG are so are gonna be so happy to hear this them Why didn't he just eavesdrop just there? Wow, look at this. Quarry for EG are gonna be so happy to hear this. They're literally right next to you. Told them all about that situation? In the series you were at the final area! There is no need for this explanation stuff! If you want to relate your series to someone else's series, I'm pretty sure the person can just go and watch it. Look at all this self-inflation. My point still stands about them being able to eavesdrop whilst they were conversing over this whole let's em enable the dimension settings thing. We're in video game world, guys. Yeah, we're going to start these things where the characters speak once, have a line and say congratulations, and then we move on to the next character who has the same thing to say before we end it because we've reached our quarter of characters for this video. This whole explanation thing does not need to exist. I'm pretty sure that we could just assume anyway that they have an internet program that just, you know, can transcend dimensions. Also, it, it isn't, it, it, seriously, shouldn't they just be able to hear what the other characters are saying? If they're saying that they've got 5,000 subscribers, then we shouldn't need to explain how each character individually knows that if they're all standing in the same room while the character is saying it. But again, it's the same logic that we just used with Quarry and Fariji. Oh yes, they're going to be so happy to hear this, even though they're literally right next to you! Oh yes, we're also going to do this thing where the characters are just going to say who their uh, counterpart is, even though uh, only the audience needs this and not uh, the actual characters. Yeah, that's going to happen a lot. They, they just introduce themselves by saying who they're, who they're supposedly related to. That's a thing I try to avoid because it's really stupid and nobody needs to keep introducing themselves like that. In fact, in my series, The Curse of the Invincibility Frames, that doesn't happen. Well, you know, in a way that's blind, like this series is. Dimension D. Wait, no, I know what that was. Dimension D is the thing in Into the Fourth Dimension. Never mind. But again, it's the same thing I said before. Shouldn't people just be able to go and watch the series if we're just going to relate to it so much? Can't we just assume that the entire population escaped? We don't need to know that you specifically escaped. Because, yeah, all the fourth dimensional inhabitants were in, were trapped in Dimension D, 
to prevent them from trying to stop Dementia's plan because having a population would mean that they would get the D-Stars properly and assemble them to try and stop Dementia, but Dementia trapped them in Dimension D to prevent that from happening. So, um, yeah. Also, yeah, this whole favorite word is right. Yeah. If you, if you weren't any more aware that it was Mario Star's voice before, now it is because Mario Star goes wrong, Quarry Star goes right. Ha 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 ha. Don't you get it? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Then what's the Star World counterpart one then? Also, it's really weird, even though this is supposed to be a dimensional cycle, just remember that the video wasn't released yet. But even after the video is released, it still doesn't make sense. Star Road, the, the dimension, is basically a ghost town because literally nobody exists in it. There are no counterparts in the Star Road because the Star Road was supposed to be, quote-unquote, part of the normal dimension. So essentially there were three dimensions and the Star Road eventually split at one point and that then created it as the third dimension. You know, Star World's the second, the Star Road's the third, and the fourth dimension is obviously the fourth. The thing is, though... That just it, it, it the Star Road is seen as a ghost town, so there would be no counterpart to say that. But what is his Star World counterpart thing then? Right, wrong. What is there? Is the Star World's counterpart a maybe? You're gonna see it in two seconds. Normal counterpart. Try to imagine that from the words of yourself and see how that just sounds extremely weird. He should just be saying blooper land counterpart because that's not normal to him, is it? But of course, Starman 3 has no idea what characters are supposed to sound or feel like, so he literally just puts things in their mouths without even thinking about it. Oh yes, did you notice it before? Well, now you're going to extremely notice it now. There's a black thing at the top of the screen too. It's, it's it's not just flickering. It's this weird black thing that happens to exist too. That's not video cropping. That literally is recording. Why? I don't know. It's probably his game. I don't know why that is though. And it flickers too. We've reached our quarter of characters for this video. Oh wait, never mind. We're going to see one in like a few seconds. Now oh, that happens, and then it succeeded. He does not deserve this. <laughs> As if that wasn't blatantly obvious by the existence of the 10 minutes of this entire video. Nobody did at this time. The, the, the video that explained all that was yet to release. Had yet to release, I mean, sorry. Yeah, remember the argument? Now he finally has continuity for maybe like the one scene that they have it for. Watch their punches overlap each other. Oh look, repeating the recordings, he teleported! He teleported too! Uh, it, w it was too hard just to have them stand properly in the middle. Even if we had, you know, cut jaggies, basically, when you have a millisecond of footage to have them stand there, that would have been better than just having them teleport halfway across the room just to punch at each other again. Also, the other characters are completely gone again. But of course, that's what happens to characters in the series. They're only there for the lines they need to be, and then they're completely tossed in the cupboard. It's why I keep referring to them as dead corpses, and here we go again! This is obviously fake because he doesn't have an actual account. It's because counterparts, ha 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 ha! It only worked now because of the fact that he got 5,000. It wouldn't have worked otherwise if it was some other number. Because then it's just randomly arbitrary low for some reason. 
Anyway, see you all. Have a good day. Peace. And I'll see you in Roblox Goes Crazy 25. We're finally there. At the video that I was planning to do anyway. So see you then.